Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to set up multi-galaxy communications with system platform or application server 2017 update 2. Now in this brief tutorial video we're going to be using three virtual machines. Two virtual machines will be uh, set up as GR nodes with a deployed galaxy on each and one virtual machine will be used to as the go-between between the two. So first we'll uh, use our go-between virtual machine here and I'll just open it up. Now the first thing that we need to do is open up the IDE and connect to the primary galaxy or the galaxy that we will designate as our primary. And as you can see here I've selected my GR node and the galaxy name will be Galaxy 1. And I'll go ahead and connect. Now once I've opened up the IDE I will go up to the Galaxy menu option, come on down to configure and select Service Discovery. Now in the service discovery, the only thing is what I need to configure is the cross galaxy server. And so in this case, I'm going to have the primary be the cross galaxy server. And then I'll just simply say OK. The next thing that I'll need to uh, configure is go to galaxy, configure, and we're going to uh, configure the multi galaxy functions and we're going to enable remote pairing and we're going to come up with a uh, security passphrase so I'll just say connection with special characters so as you see right here I'll just say connection password with the special characters and select OK so I get the informational message saying that I can now pair uh, with another uh, GR. So I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to exit out and reopen the IDE of the second GR node. In this case, I'll just type in the, G, the name of my GR, the other one, hit the down arrow and I can see Galaxy 2 and I'll click on connect. Now once I'm inside of the IDE I will go up to Galaxy, configure, and in this case right here I'm going to select multi-galaxy. Okay. Now once I've selected multi-galaxy, all right, I'm just simply going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to put in the uh, the target galaxy galaxy repository node in this case it would be SP 2017 UP2 and I'm going to put in my passphrase and simply click on OK. All right, now that's done and I'll just simply select OK. Now if I want to check and I want to change the uh, cross-reference or the cross-galaxy uh, server, I can change that here. Uh, but in this case, I'll just simply go with the defaults. All right, now we've paired our galaxies so now let's test it out and I'm going to test it by going to uh, my primary galaxy so I'll put type it in 17 P2 hit the down arrow and that should give us our galaxy and click on connect Now, once we're inside of the uh, primary galaxy, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to import an object that I previously exported.
Okay, and I'll just simply navigate to my folder. And perform the uh, import. So I've completed the import, and I should see my object uh, within my um, area. Okay, this is my object that I imported. Now let's take a look at how I have it configured. Now, as you can see uh, from my open object, I, I call it Galaxy2 underscore PLC Sim. And as you can see, I'm actually pulling information uh, from my Galaxy 2. Uh, you can see uh, the, uh, the nomenclature here as far as where it's coming from. And to kind of show you that I can actually um, browse to the second Galaxy, I'll open up the Galaxy browser and hit the down arrow and that will let, let, uh, let me know that I can actually pull information from my second Galaxy. Uh, so that we can communicate. Now I'm going to deploy my object and double check it with Object Viewer. Okay, once that's done, I'll just simply right click and open it the open it in Object Viewer. And as you can see, I'm getting information. And I'm going to open up a watch window. And let's verify it. OK, so we can see we're getting actual data. And let's see where the input sources are coming from. And as you can see, it's coming from my second galaxy. So that concludes this video on how to set up multi-galaxy communications with System Platform or App Server 2017 Update 2. Thank you.